what is this? Master Chief, what are you doing in my ghost? You're not in this review. Hey guys, I'm Rich, and welcome to another Halo Reach action figure review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Series 1 Ghost. Now, this vehicle is incredible. Here is a box view of it before we open it up and do that. A uh, lot of different little things that you can see that nobody really cares about. So, yeah. The one thing that I don't really like about the box so far is that it is open. I'm not exactly sure why they didn't seal it with plastic, but I mean, I can reach in and poke it. And, you know, I just would prefer not to be able to do that, just so that it has one extra barrier to keep it safe from people accidentally smacking into it. But, you know, whatever. Okay, so here we have the ghost out of the packaging, and you gotta admit, it is really cool, really well done. Uh, I think it is actually rather incredible how much uh, it just is awesome, and probably the main reason that I think it is just so darn cool and to show you is this. Now, for some of the features before we get into what characters can ride the ghost, here are some features of the ghost itself. Uh, both of the plasma turrets here can go up on their own, so plasma cannons, you got your own on there. The uh, joysticks here, the, the handles, you know, for making the thing go are right here. The seat is adjustable. If that isn't cool, I don't know. I mean, that, that is really cool. The seat is adjustable, goes in and out. And then also, the fans right here on both sides move. So that's cool. Because if you notice, when you're driving the Ghost, it, they move and everything. So that is super cool, man. Super cool. Now here is Emil, who is a standard Spartan, driving the Ghost. The new Elites can fit into the Ghost, driving it. The new Elites can drive the Ghost. Now you can see that the Grunt Ultra does fit into the Ghost, but it doesn't really sit properly. Right here, you can tell he doesn't really fit because of his backpack, and with his backpack, it kind of pushes his face into the front of the Ghost. So, um, yeah, he can't really ride it. The previous Halo 3 Spartans do fit into the Ghost, though, which is good. You can get the Halo 3 Elites to fit. You can even get Halo 3 Brutes to fit, although they're a little shaky, but they do fit in there. Now, even though you cannot get Halo Reach Grunts to fit, you can get the Halo 3 Grunts to fit. So you can get the Ghost and fit some of your older Grunt figures into the Ghost. Yay! Now, as a size comparison to the Mongoose and the Warthog, the Ghost, I think it fits within the right scale of the Warthog, but I think the Mongoose might need to be redesigned for the Halo Reach characters, figures and stuff, because... It looks a little out of scale with the other vehicles, but I gotta say, it looks pretty beautiful having them all here. Now, all we need is a Scorpion, and Wraith, and uh, Locust, and Banshee, Falcon, Hornet, Pelican. Um, I just wanted, like, a Covenant Cruiser. Why don't they build a Covenant Cruiser in actual scale and be done with it, okay? Overall, I do like the Ghost. It is light. It is not very heavy, and now I'm thinking that the Ghost might be a little bit out of scale. I'm not sure about that, but here is some detail of the Ghost. Uh, there is no coloring in there. There should be some blue screen or whatever mixed into that, but still, for the price, I mean, it's, it's $20 retail if you can find one, $20. It is really well sculpted. It is very good scale. It fits a lot of the different figures. Now, with that said, it does not fit the figures maybe perfectly. The, the seat is adjustable, so you're able to get the figures in there, and then you can kind of close the seat around them a bit. So that's good. But with the way that the joysticks and everything, it's just not very... E when the figures are sitting in there, they're not like on the mongoose. How like with the mongoose? Like when they're sitting on the mongoose, you know they're on the mongoose. Because it kind of they, they can get, grab around it. But with the ghost, they're kind of just sitting. And if it wasn't for the crotch support, they probably would fall out a little bit. But with a little bit of working, you're able to get the figures in there and they're able to stay, which is great. Because if the figures didn't fit, it would be a really big problem. Now with the Grunt Ultra not fitting, eh, that's okay. Because, I mean, maybe the Grunt Ultras wouldn't drive ghosts, you know? I don't know. I don't know about that. But maybe. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative and awesome for you to watch. Speaking of awesome, you guys are awesome for watching this. Thank you so much. <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys again next time. Get this thing if you can. Five out of five. Awesome.